Looking back, as it turns out, I did make a mistake on this. This hydrogen doesn't belong there. So the molecular weight here is actually is 88. It doesn't change the calculation very much. It actually makes the percent yield slightly better. If you do the, the math here now, instead of 14.9, you get 14.7 which is actually now an 88.4% yield. So it, it, it's still a pretty darn good yield after they start off by saying that, that these tend to not have very good yields. Okay, moving on. Number 54, write the Lewis structure for both isomers of, of this, which is an amine. So you have two possibilities here, CH3, CH2, NH, so that's one possibility, um, NH2, excuse me, and, and so that would look something like we have, f we got four, and four, and two fives is 10, and I'm counting valence electrons here. We have a total of seven hydrogen valence electrons. Okay, so if we put dots in for all these, this single bonds amongst all these, and then all these guys have their bonds. like so, it ends up looking something like that. If you count these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You add these up, you get 27. Let me make sure I got that right. Let's see, we got 2, 4, Two, four, well, we got seven or uh, seven hydrogens, so that's seven. We have two nitrogens, so that's ten, and we've got two carbons, so that's eight. So that that's a total of twenty-five. Can't add. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. So. We have seven left over. Now where did those seven come from? There's a couple of possibilities here. We can put an extra bond there, but then that won't, hold on a second, let me write this a different way so I can see it better. So it looks something like that, if they're all single bonds in here. If we count up all the single bonds, we have to put, say, a couple of guys right there. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And we have a total of, there's five left over. So where do those five come from? There's only one nitrogen. Can't count. Sorry, guys. So we have 20 and 20. Okay. So this is the way the first one would look by Lewis structure. The second one looks like, so you have the nitrogen in the middle here now. And it, so you have the nitrogen in the middle. And again, you have to put two and again, if you count them, they're going to count out just the same way as this did with 20. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 2 makes 20. So your two Lewis structures, one looks like this, and one looks like this.
Number 48 says write two resonance instructions for the peridium ion. Now the, first of all, what does the peridium ion look like? Well, the peridium ion looks like the benzene, but with a nitrogen instead of. So it looks something like this. C, 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 N, C, C. So it looks like benzene, okay? Except you have a nitrogen instead of. So there, there's what it looks like. So in order for this to work, remember benzene had double bonds in here. Like that. But then it could also look like this. So let's draw it again. So a resonance structure, it has the same structure, but the double bonds are in different places. So here you have them here, here, and here, and here you have them here. Of course, it's an ion, which means this hydrogen is not on here. Here, 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 and here, versus here, here, and here. And these, quote unquote, resonate back and forth. And the way that this has been drawn with benzene is instead of, of doing it this way, you look at it like, like this, and I'm not going to draw that. So it looks something like this, and they just put a circle, which means that those that electron is it, there are electrons that are just running around. Sometimes they look like this, and sometimes they look like that. But those are the two resonance structures for for peridium. Number sixty says write two complete balanced equations for each of the following reactions: one using condensed formula, one using the Lewis structure, ethyl ammonium chloride. So ethyl CH3 CH2 ammonium chloride plus sodium hydroxide. Now, hydroxide. Now, what makes the most sense here is for the sodium here to combine with this chlorine, and for this for this hydroxide to end up over here. So that. Sorry, there's a hydrogen in here. So that would look like this: CH3, CH2. NH2OH plus sodium chloride. Or you could, and so writing that as a Lewis structure, it would look something like, this would look something like this. You put these around like this, you put the chlorine here, hydrogen, hydrogen, put a sodium here, or a nitrogen here, oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen, something like that. And, you know, sodium chloride is an ionic compound, it would be sodium and chlorine like that. And so that's how that's how this would look in a Lewis structure. You'd start out with this Lewis structure over here. looking something like that, and then end up with, I forgot, with the hydroxide coming here and the sodium going over here. So if you have any questions about any of this, you can contact me and let me know.